Beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that a day is unto the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. But as an atheist, I used to say, boy, <laughs> that's the silliest thing I ever heard. Everybody knows time is the one ethereal substance. You can't speed it up. You can't slow it down. It's the one thing that's the same for everybody. Then I took a course in nuclear physics. And in that class, we studied Albert Einstein's theory of special relativity. The equation that you see in front of you is an equation for time. T0 is the time you would experience if you weren't moving relative to a given frame of reference. V is the speed at which you move, and C is the speed of light. Now notice something, algebra students. As your speed V gets close to the speed of light C, V squared over C squared gets close to 1. It's 1 minus almost 1, so that number becomes very, very small. And since in the de denominator, the value of the fraction becomes very, very large. Okay, what does that mean? It means time dilates. Time gets longer and longer and longer. Let me show this to you in a very simple way. Here we have a picture of two twins. If I were to take one twin and put him in a spaceship and send him to the nearest star, traveling at the speed of light, it would take him four and three tenths years by my watch here up on the Earth to the nearest star, to travel to the nearest star, Alpha Centauri A. He gets up there, he eats his lunch, he takes a few pictures, he turns around and comes back. It takes him four and three tenths more years to travel back. He would have been gone eight and six tenths years, essentially nine years by my watch here upon the earth. If the two twins were, let's say, ten years old when he left for the spaceship, when he got back, the other twin would be 18, almost 19 years of age, 18.6 to be exact. The twin on the Earth would have continued to age normally, and the twin in the spaceship would not have aged. And some of you are saying, that is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not talking some kooky theory here. We're talking a proven fact. This is something that can be demonstrated in particle accelerators, in spaceships, in airplanes. I mean, we've essentially done this experiment using very accurate clocks and moving them at high rates of speed. And what we find is that the equation that we started with, it works. It accurately predicts what happens to time. And you know, it's interesting to realize that the statement then that the Bible gives that says time is not an ethereal substance, that time is relative, is a verifiable, workable statement. 